Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting my house cleaned up before Christmas, before the kids open gifts and everything gets messy again. I just like to get my house in complete order before all of that begins. So I'm starting off in my bedroom today. I'm just gonna go through basically the whole house and kind of tidy everything up, wipe things down and get things back in order. It's been a few weeks since I have really spent the day cleaning my house and so this was the perfect time to do that right before Christmas. So I'm starting off in my bedroom today. I just got my bed made as you saw and now I'm using the Mrs. Meyers Peppermint Scent Multi-Surface Cleaner to wipe down all the surfaces in my room. You'll always be on my mind Even in the hard times I care about you How do you move on When everything goes wrong I'm trying to find a way To get you out of my head And now I'm using the Spray Away brand glass cleaner To wipe down my mirror And then I'm going to vacuum my room I decided to use my Upright Shark vacuum today. It's the Shark Apex, which I have all of my vacuums linked in my Amazon shop for you guys. But I love my Shark vacuums, and I've mentioned this before, but my cordless Shark vacuum is actually in my trailer from the last time we went camping, and I need to go to storage and get it out because I miss using that vacuum so much. I just, my favorite brand of vacuum just has to be Shark. I've tried so many different kinds, and Shark is just my favorite. So I'm using this one today, and I'm doing some spots on the baseboards, and like this lamp had some dust bunnies attached to the cord, so I like that I can just take the handheld, or the handle piece of this vacuum right off super easy and use it to get down on the baseboards and stuff like that. Don't know how to cope with being so broken Girl, I can't forget about what you said I just want to I'm just gonna clear off the dining room table. Berkeley was doing some tracing and some letters and shapes this morning, and I am gonna just get all of that stuff put away. You'll see her running around in a little cape. Um, she is super into superhero stuff right now, and so she wore a cape like basically this entire day. So cute. But I'm just still using that peppermint Mrs. Myers to wipe down this table, and then I'm also gonna wipe down my buffet. And now heading into the kitchen, I'm going to get the counters wiped down and these dishes that are out on the counter put away. There are some dirty dishes in the sink, but our kids' jobs, as far as their chores, um, dishes are one of their things. And so it's been working out really, really well. Every night after dinner, Berkeley and Brody unload the dishwasher together and Brayden will load the dishwasher. So I am going to leave the dirty dishes in the sink just because that is their chores and they have a chore chart on the fridge and they check off what they are doing each day and then on Sundays they get their allowance. So I leave their chores for them to do now and it's honestly so nice that I don't have to do the dishes anymore because it's my least favorite chore, but then they get to split it up and learn some responsibility. So that is working out super well for them, but I'm just using that peppermint Mrs. Myers to wipe down my counters. I wanted to get everything wiped down super well before I vacuumed anywhere in the main area of the house just so that way everything is wiped down and if there was any crumbs or dust or anything, it's on the floor and ready to be vacuumed up. I had also just recently, like the, I think it was the day before, used the stainless steel cleaner to clean the fridge but there was just some fingerprints on the handles so I just did a quick wipe down of that and now I'm gonna go in and get the dining room chairs put up on the dining table so I can start vacuuming everywhere 
It's always hard to tell in cleaning videos how messy things actually are up close, like especially floors. So I try to give you guys a close up of some nasty stuff on the floor every once in a while, some dust bunnies, and wait until you guys see me clean out our shoe uh, cubbies by the front door. I cannot believe how much dog hair and like dust inside the cubbies. It was crazy. The day that I filmed this video was December 22nd and it was absolutely gorgeous outside. It was freezing cold. I think it was 32 degrees this day, but the sun was shining. It was pure blue skies. It was absolutely beautiful and Cash was enjoying laying right there in front of the sliding glass door on his bed in the sun. But now I'm gonna wipe down my coffee table, which I get questions about all the time. It is from TJ Maxx and it's the perfect little size for our little tiny living room. My new couches are still not in, but they're supposed to be here on the 28th. They're coming from Article. I'm so excited about them. I can't wait to share them with you guys. But I'm just gonna wipe down the surfaces in here. This shelf right here the white shelf especially the bottom one gets so dusty and gets so as you can see on my cleaning rack um, and it gets so much dog hair I pretty much have to wipe this bottom shelf off every single day for it to stay clean just because cash is always in the living room and he sheds quite a bit so I'm gonna get all of that wiped down and then I'm going to vacuum so I'm gonna vacuum off cash's dog bed and move that out of the way and then get this whole area vacuumed up Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Moving on to the hallway, I'm gonna grab all of the chalk off of the ledge of the chalkboard and just put it into a glass cup. And then I'm gonna grab a wet rag and wipe down this chalkboard. We do have some of Berkeley's preschool art up here that was Christmas themed and some of our friends' Christmas cards. And um, Donnie actually wrote that we love Papa Keith on the day of the accident when I was at the hospital right after we had found out what happened. So I just, I'm having a really hard time wanting to erase that. I don't know when I will, but for now it's it's staying there, so we'll see. But we are going to clean up this hallway now, so I'm just gonna put some shoes away. I had just taken the boys' Betty's zipper bedding off of their beds, so I'm gonna move that to the laundry room so I can get that washed later on, and I'm gonna get this hallway vacuumed up. So like I was telling you guys, I did pull out these little baskets from the shoe cubbies so that way I could vacuum them out and I was shocked at what was in there. You just can't really tell with the baskets in there and I never really looked back in there so I'm glad I did because wow, it was nasty. This is obviously a super high traffic area in our house right by the front door so just a, an accumulation of dust and dirt and dog hair and what have you so felt really good to get that all vacuumed out and how satisfying is that watching it all get sucked up into the vacuum
So now that all the hard surfaces are vacuumed in the house, I'm gonna use this essential oil called Cozy Cabin from Eden's Garden. It smells so good. I'm just gonna put a few drops on the pad of my steam mop and my house smelled so, so good. So I have the Shark steam mop and all you put in it is water and it works amazing. I've had this for years and I love it. But if you do a little bit of essential oil on the pad of the mop, it just, Oh my gosh, like with the steam and everything, it literally smells your house up so good. And I like using a diffuser blend or peppermint and I, or lemon. During the summer, I like to do lemon, but oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how good my house smelled after um, putting that on the mop pad. So I'm gonna start in the hallway. And like I said, this is a super high traffic area right here and then also by our sliding glass door because we'll let Cash out to go potty and his paws get muddy so he comes in and I wipe it up but it just doesn't do the best job unless you're actually mopping. So I really love to use the steam mop to do like right by the front door and then by the back door because it just does such an amazing job of getting like breaking up all the dirt and debris off the floor and um, cleaning really well. So we are gonna get all of this whole living area and kitchen mopped. Sometimes it gets hard for me to tell you how I feel I'm afraid to show you it's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Got a lot of demons up in my brain Got a lot of bad thoughts giving me pain I'm afraid to show you it's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Let you down Okay, now we're gonna head into Berkeley's room. It has been quite a while since I have gotten in here and really picked up and vacuumed and cleaned out under the bed. She does a pretty good job of putting her own toys away and whatnot, but you know, she's only four, so, and same with the boys too. I've talked about this before. They do a good job of keeping their room picked up for the most part, but mom has to get in there sometimes and do a good clean. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna make her bed. We got her zipper bedding on there. I swear you guys, Betty's is just the best, especially for kids. And I always have a discount code for you guys in the description of the video. But I'm gonna get all of her stuffed animals that she likes to keep on her bed, organized on her bed, and then get the rest of them put into the baskets in the closet, get the toys organized where they need to go. And then also I noticed there was a whole bunch of stuff under her bed. With a brand new chest Still a baby bird fries Right off the nest like so I had her crawl under the bed and hand everything out to me so I could sort it out by trash and books and toys and then we could get everything put back where it needed to go. So she is under there handing everything out to me. No more. Everything you see. 
I'm just gonna wipe down her side table with that Mrs. Meyers peppermint cleaner. And you guys, I need to repaint this or get her a new side table. I thrifted this years ago and it was in the farmhouse and in so many different rooms. Um, it's such a cute little table, but it's definitely seen a lot and it has a lot of life left in it, but it needs either a new coat of paint or something to clean the top of that better because basic cleaner doesn't get off the marker and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. I will see about that. I just love that table. I love how it looks. So I probably just need to put a new coat of paint on it. So I'll add that to my list of projects, but I'm going to go ahead and get underneath the bed vacuumed. I love that this vacuum, I can take the big canister part right off super easy. And then it goes completely flat and you can get up under the beds and stuff like that, which is really great. So I'm going to just move everything around and get her room vacuumed up really well. Now headed into the boys room, I don't really have much pickup to do. Like I said, they do a really good job of keeping their room picked up. I'm just putting some books away that were on the desk, charging up the tablet, and just kind of putting things just a couple of things back where they need to go. And then I'm gonna make their beds. Like I was telling you guys earlier, I had just taken their buddy's zipper bedding off. So whenever we don't have their zipper bedding on, which is pretty rare, honestly, I just put these sheets on because I was gonna wash the other ones. So I will just fold up their blankets at the end of the bed instead of trying to make the bunk beds. When we lived in our trailer for six months, one of our subscribers suggested that to us instead of trying to make the bunks, just fold their blankets at the end of the bed and then at night they can put their blankets on top of them. So that works for the few days that we don't have the zipper bedding on there, however long it is. So I'm just gonna get their beds kind of tidied up a little bit and a little more organized. They have lots of blankets, especially Brayden. He just loves blankets. So he has his quilt that like goes with this bedding set, but then he has like three or four other blankets that he likes to sleep with. And Brody is, Brody likes stuffed animals. He like collects stuffed animals and so does Berkeley, but Brayden likes his fuzzy blankets. It's so cute. Once I get their Christmas tree kind of picked up and put back together a little bit in the train, I am going to vacuum their room. Now headed into the kids bathroom. This is also the guest bathroom. So of course I want to get it cleaned up before we have family over for Christmas and everyone is using this bathroom. So I'm just going to get everything picked up off of the floor and out so that way I can vacuum and then start wiping everything down in here. I'm gonna start off by spraying the toilet down with this Method antibacterial bathroom cleaner and let that sit for a bit while I clean the bowl of the toilet and I'm just using my Clorox wand to clean that out. Game changer. If you guys have never used a Clorox wand, 
I highly recommend it. I have that linked always also. All my cleaning stuff for the most part I have linked for you guys either in my Amazon shop or from Grove Collaborative. So then I'm just going to take some paper towels and wipe down the toilet. They keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and now I'm gonna take everything off of the countertop and I'm gonna spray the mirror with that spray away glass cleaner and then spray down the sink and the counters with the Mrs. Meyers peppermint. It smells so good. You know, another one that I recently got from Grove Collaborative is Snowdrop. I never tried it last season when it, I think it was last Christmas when that came out. I never tried it, um, but it smells so good and I feel like it's a scent that you can use year round. So I got both the peppermint and the snowdrop recently and so I'm using up all of my peppermint stuff first um, so that way I use it during the Christmas time and then I'll switch over to the snowdrop. But the kids do have the snowdrop um, hand soap here in the bathroom and it just smells so good. So once I have everything wiped down, I'm going to get everything put back up onto the counter and then we are going to steam mop in the bathroom. Whenever I'm mopping like the whole house with the steam mop, I like to save the bathroom for last just because it feels weird, it would feel weird to me to like do the bathroom first down by the toilet, especially with boys, and then continue to mop the rest of the house with that mop pad, if that makes sense. So, saved the bathroom for last for that reason. And now I'm gonna get some oils going in my diffuser. I decided to diffuse this Forest Fresh blend from Eden's Garden. I always have my oils linked down below for you guys. I don't sell them, but I have a referral link and they're my favorite oils, in case you were ever interested in that. But I'm gonna get that going. This diffuser is from Amazon. I also have that link for you guys. And the stand is from Hobby Lobby. But once I get that done, I'm just gonna switch some laundry around. Not too much laundry today. And I'm gonna get the, this was a load of Berkeley's clothes. I'm gonna get put in the dryer. And then I have a load, a pretty large load from our dirty clothes basket. And I'm gonna get that started in the washer. So I've been using this Arm & Hammer with OxyClean. Paige Danielle says it smells amazing and so I had to give it a try for myself and she's definitely right, my clothes smell so good. And then I also just have the basic downy fabric softener. Okay, now we're gonna move on to a task that has been needed to be done for a really long time, like a year probably. My oven is real dirty. So my friend Brittany on YouTube and Instagram, her handle is at home with Brit. I will link her down below, but she gave me some inspiration to tackle cleaning out my oven. So thank you, Brittany, for giving me that little boost that I needed to tackle this. It really honestly wasn't that hard. So I just took a cup of baking soda and then a third cup of water, made a little paste, this baking soda paste, mix it all together. And then I'm just gonna take a sponge and kind of rub that all over inside the oven where it needs to break up the grease and the grime that is caked on in there. Now, from what I read, you're supposed to let this sit like overnight, and I honestly didn't have the time or the patience to do that. So I only let it sit for like maybe an hour, if that. I put it all on there and I shut the oven, and I said, let's just see what happens. Let's just try and scrub and see if we can tackle this without letting it sit overnight. So I took some white vinegar in a spray bottle and sprayed that all over. And then I just took one of my scrub daddy sponges that's very, very coarse, and I went to work on scrubbing. And if I would have let it sit overnight, I'm sure I would not have had to um, scrub as hard and as long. 
So maybe next time I will do that if I have more time to let it sit overnight. But I was trying to get ready for Christmas and I have baking to do the next morning. So there's no way that I was gonna wake up in the morning and be ready to scrub the oven. I wanted to get it over and done with, but it worked so well as you will see in the after here in just a couple minutes. But that is gonna be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching cleaning videos. I know I do. They get me so inspired and get me motivated to get up and tackle even one thing that day. So I just wanted to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope you guys have a great holiday, whether you're hanging out with your family or if it's just you and the people in your household, whatever your 2020 holidays look like this year. I hope you have a great time. Um, I also wanted to say as just a reminder to never take anyone in your family for granted. If you love them, give them a hug. Tell them you love them because tomorrow is not promised. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys again. Love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.